Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. I'm the Clever Book Minecraft Teller, and this is, uh, this is, I'm gonna be doing the series. Oh, okay. So, let's do this. We're starting with the passive mob called the Bat. Darkness, light level of 4 or less. Around Halloween, light level of 7 or less. And underground, below layer 63. And also, make sure you subscribe to this channel right now. Bats are small, passive mobs that can be found in caverns. They squeak and only be become active at night or when the player approaches. Here's the health points. Six health points. What a score. And we move on to the hostile mob Blaze. Can I call you Blaze? Can I call you Blaze? He drops ten he shot ten experience sometimes. His his location is is the nether fortress. And the blazes are hostile mobs found in nether fortresses. Upon seeing the player, they will catch fire and shoot free fire charges at the player. They are o the only source of blaze rocks. Here's the health points. 20 health, the same amount as a player. Attack, fireball, easy, free, normal, 5, hard, 7. Contact, easy, 4, normal, 6, hard, 9. The drops when killed by player, they they only drop the blaze rod. We move on to our nice little kitty cats. Oh, I'm sorry, cats. The tame little, the tame little mob. Oh, oops, okay. They spawn in village or witch huts. Cats are passive mobs that can be tamed with raw cod or raw salmon. A tamed cat will follow the player instead of running away from it after waking up from the from asleep the player. Has a chance to receive a gift from their cat, including rabbit's foot, feather, or phantom membrane. Stray's cats usually spawn in villages, but black cats can also appear in witch huts. They will scare our creepers and phantoms away. Raw cod or raw salmon can be used to breed tamed cats. Health points 10. Attack against rabbits and baby turtles. Free. Drops. When killed, they only drop the string. Next up we have is the cave spiders. The hostile mob. They spawn in abandoned mine shafts. Cave spiders are hostile mobs that can only spawn from monster spawners from, from found in abandoned mine shafts. Although they are smaller than regular spiders, they are more dangerous because of their poisonous butt that keeps hurting the player every second and a half after he got hit. Health, 12. Attack, easy, 2. Normal, 2. And also, this would create the poison in normal. Hard, 3. And then, Venom, 1. Heart, which is a half. Normal, 7 seconds. And then, hard, 15 seconds. And the one I already skipped, every 1.25 seconds. And when killed, they drop the string, and when killed by player, spider eyes. And also, we can move on to our, to our mob called the chicken. chicken. Chickens are passive mobs that are the primary source of feathers and eggs. They also drop raw chicken, which makes them a renewable source of food. Seeds can be used to lead chickens around or breed them. Health. Four, four health points. And then drops. When killed, and then when killed, um, feathers. And then every five to ten minutes is one egg. When killed, 
they drop raw chicken. When killed by fire, they drop cooked chicken. We're moving on to a jockey called the Chicken Jockey. Darkness, white level of 7 or less. Randomly spawns instead of a baby zombie. Chicken jockeys are rare. Hostile mobs that have a 50 have a 5% chance to spawn instead of a regular baby zombie or baby zombie Pikmin. They have the same characteristics as their individual counterparts. Chicken for baby 20, the same amount as the player. Attack t 2 health points, normal 4, hard 5. Drops. When killed, feather. Every every 5 minutes to 10 minutes an egg. When killed, raw chicken. When killed by fire, raw chicken. And then when killed, rotten fresh. Rare drops. When killed, iron ingot. When killed, carrot. When killed, potato. The equipment. Sometimes an iron shovel. Sometimes a iron sword. And random armor sometimes. Um, any armor you have want. And the cards are next. The cards are next on the vest. Cards are small passive mobs that can be found in oceans. They tend to swim in schools of up to nine fish. Like all fish, they cannot survive on land and will die after flopping around some time. Health free drops when killed a raw a raw cut and when killed by fire cut cut and rare rare drops when killed the bone meal. Yeah. Next up is is our favorite mob the cow. Cows are passive mobs that are the primary source of leather and milk. They all they also drop raw beef, which makes them a renewable source of food. Wheat can be used to lead cows around and breed them. Health, 10 points. Drops, when killed, leather. When milked with bucket, um, milk bucket. When killed, the raw beef. And then when killed, by fire stick. And we're moving on to our next one, which is my creeper bro in India. Not really. Creepers are common hostile mobs that c explode to cause massive damage to the player. They silently approach the player, and when near enough, with with will hiss, start flashing and in inflating and exploding after 1.5 seconds. This damaging both play both the players and our mob in the the environment. The damage varies by approximately and difficulty with maximum of 49. If a lion strikes near a creeper, they turn into a charge creeper, making them about twice as powerful. Creepers are common source of gunpowder, and the only way to most to most to get most music desk health twenty attack fair varieties by approximately and difficulty maxed normal forty nine and they maxed ninety seven drops on on non self exploding death gunpowder when killed by charge creeper. Um, creeper head. Any music disc when killed by a skeleton. A music disc. And then the next one we have is my dolphin. Dolphins are neutral mobs found in most oceans. They usually swim in groups and associally lay out of the waters. Swimming near dolphins give the status effect. Dolphins grace, increasing their swimming speed if they are fed raw cod or, or raw salmon. They will 
lead you, they will lead the player to nearby treasure chest. When they are attacked, they become hostile, and all dolphins in the in, in the area will attack the player. Like fish, they cannot not uh, survive on land, and will die after flopping around for some time. Health 10. Easy 2. Normal 3. Hard 4. Drops. When killed, roll card. When killed by fire, cut card. We're moving on to our hostile zombie friends. Um, drought are a variant of zombies that only spawn underwater or when a zombie drowns. Like regular zombies, they, they burn in the sunlight, so during the day, they only attack players underwater. During night, during the night, they they might swim to the surface or even get on the get, get on land to attack the player. Though, drowns have a have a fifty percent chance to spawn with a trident. They that they can throw to attack the player. Health twenty. Attack easy two, normal three, hard four, with trident eight. Drops. Gold ingots. Drop. Rod and flesh. Equipment. 2% two, two chance. Fishing rod. 15% chance. Trident. 3% chance. Not to a shell. Next up is the Elder Guardians. You're gonna love this one. Because the Elder Guardian are hostile mobs, of which always are only free spawn in ocean monuments. They are stronger than regular guardians, and will always drop as wet sponge when killed by the player. Health 80 times 40, easy 5, normal 8, hard 12. When attacked 4, drops raw card, and then when killed by fire, church card. When killed by player. Wet sponge. When killed, Prisma Ring Shard. When killed, um, pris Prisma Ring. Prisma Ring, I think. Yeah, okay. I, I don't, I don't want to say it. Um, uh, rare drops. When killed, raw cod. And then when killed, raw salmon. When killed, clownfish. A tropical fish, I meant. Um, when killed, pufferfish. Moving on to the next one, which is the Ender Dragon, which is our first boss in this in this episode. He drops 2,000 experience. The location is the End. The Ender Dragon is a Minecraft final boss final boss mob. It it spawns once you you first enter its own dimension. The the End, and after it it defeat defeated can be respawned by Placing one ender and cr crystal atop each of the four sides of the end fountain. It it is very strong, large, can fly, and it's here by ender crystals on the top of the obsidian pillars. Once it's killed, a dragonade appears on top of the end fountain. Which is now activated and will take the player back to the overworld after a cutscene. And end get and and an end getaway portal is also created at every time the inner dragon is defeated. Which takes you to the outer islands of the end. Health 200 times 100. Attack uh, easy 6. Normal 10. Hard 15. Next up is the Enderman. My favorite friend, Enderman. He's a neutral. Endermen are large neutral mobs that properly, probably the end and can also sometimes found in overworlds. They are vulnerable to water and they are o they're the only mobs that can pick up blocks. Yeah, that's right. And teleport. Once the player attacks them, 
or just simply look at them, they become hostile and will attack the player. Attack health 4 times 20. Easy. 4, normal, 7, hard 10. When killed, the Ender Pearl comes out. Next up, the Endermite. When an Enderman teleports or an Ender Pearl is thrown, thrown and the mites are small hostile mobs that can when can that can spawn when an enderman disappears or an ender pearl is thrown. Health eight. Attack two. Moving on to the bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Okay, sorry. The Evoker. Evokers are hostile mobs only found in Woodland Mansions. They have two kinds of attacks, the Fang attack and the Vex Summoning attack. The Fang attack sometimes either 13 Fangs in a circle around the Voker or 16 Fangs in a line towards the player, defend, defending on if the player is close to the Voker or not. The vexes, the vex will summoning with between two and four vexes. Help play four times twelve, and then attack six. When killed by player, emeralds come out, and then when killed, the totem above dying. Next up, the fox. It spawns in the tiger or snowy tigers. Foxes are passive, found. Mobs and are uh, found in the taiga and as white snow foxes. Also in the snowy taiga. During the day, they try to find a dark spot and sleep. During the night, they go to nearby villages or go 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 hunting chickens or rabbits. Which their jump attack, they can jump over and. W Fences and walls. Foxes can pick up dropped items with their mouths and sometimes even spawn with an item already in his mouth. Sweet berries can be to can be used to breed foxes. Ten health. Attack against rabbits can chickens, cods, salmon, tropical fish, and baby turtles. And next up is my cast. Hello, girl. I'm a boy. Okay, sorry. Okay. Gas are large hostile mobs that float through the nether. They shoot fireballs at the player that explode on impact. Gases are the only source of gas tears. Health 10. Very, very, varies by approximately with a maximum of 17. Drops gunpowder when killed. When killed, gas tier. Next up is the smaller guardians, which is the guardians themselves, the sea guardians. Guardians are hostile mobs that can only spawn in ocean monuments. They will not follow the player, but they have powerful beam attacks and even deal damage to the player. When they are attacked and their spikes are out, they they are are common source of prismarine crystals. Oh, that's what they are. Prismarine shards. Help. Three times five. Fifteen. Easy. Four. Normal. Six. Hard. Nine. When attacked, two. Drop. When killed, when killed by fire, um, raw card and cut card, prismarine shard and prismarine crystals, rare drops, um, cod, raw card, salmon, um, tropical fish and the puffer fish. Next up is the horse. That's right, horse. Horses are pass moths that can be tamed. And ridden to moves significantly faster to be in the, able to mount. They they need to be equipped with a saddle. Tamed horses can also be equipped with horse armor. They there is a one in ten chance they 
that a donkey spawns that can be equipped with a chest. Golden apples or golden carrots can be used to breed them. 15 health, minus 30, and then times 15. And then, when killed, leather. Equipments, if equipped by player, chest. If saddled by player, saddle. If, if equipped by player, horse armor. Nice job. Next up is the Hux. Hostile. Desert, darkness, light level of 7 or less. Hux are a variant of zombies that can only spawn in the, in the desert. They, they, they behave very, very similar to zombies, but they do not burn in the sunlight, and they inflict the status of hunger if they hit a player. 20 health, easy to, no more free, hard for. Next up, the Illusioner. We never get to see this guy. Illus only with summon command. Illusioners are hostile mobs that currently do not spawn in addition to their bow. They will attack the player with two spells. When first encountering countering a, their, a new opponent, they will cast a blindness effect on it it the last for 20 seconds. During the battle, they will periodically cast an, an invisibility spell on themselves the, that lasts for 60 seconds and will create four, four duplicates of Solutioner. The duplicates ha be have the same as the, the actual Illusioner, but they cannot be, they cannot at attack or be attacked. Health 32, time 16, attack, bow, easy 1, normal 1, hard 1, Equi equipment always, bow. And then, we move on to my iron golem friends. Okay, here we go. Villages, pillager outposts, or when it's built by the player. Iron Golems are large, strong utility mobs that defend villagers in villages from hostile mobs. They spawn in every village can also be built by the player placing for iron blocks in a T-shaped and placing a pumpkin on the top. Sometimes they can also be found in a cage near a pillager outpost. 100 health times 50. Attack 7, drops rows, and then drops iron ingots. Next up is the, uh, is the Llama Llama Llama. Okay, why why do I keep saying that? Okay, the, this is a... Okay, they spawn in m mountains or the savanna. Llamas are neutral mobs that can be tamed and used to transport items. Tamed llamas can be equipped... With a chest to store between 3 and 15 items to event, depending on the strength of the llama. They, they can also be equipped with a, with a carpet and mound, but, but the player cannot control its movement. However, if you put a lead on the, on the llama, all, all the llamas in the area will form a carven and follow the player. Hay bows can be used to breed tamed llamas. Health 22 times 11. Attack 1. When killed, when, when killed, the drops are leather, equipment, chest, and the carpet. Next up. And look, we're almost halfway there. Nice job, me. Next up we have is the Magma Cube, which is a hostile mob. Magma Cubes are hostile mobs found in the Nether. They are three different sizes of Magma Cubes that, when killed, will release two, two to four smaller versions of themselves. They are only the source of Magma, magma Cream. Health big, 16, small, 4, tiny. One. 
att attacks um big six so small four tiny three drops when when small or big is killed not my cream next up is the mushroom okay mushrooms are unique variants of cows that can only be found in mu mushroom fields that they are very similar to record cows but have red skin and can can be used to attain red mushrooms and mushroom stew when struck by lightning they turn into brown mushrooms which will give you does the mighty suspicious stew health 10 drops when sheared the mushroom when melt with a bowl mushroom stew when killed and when milked by by a brown mushroom suspicious stew when killed by when killed whether when milked by bucket milk bucket when when killed the beef and when killed by fire steak and then the ocelots are next Woohoo! ocelots are passive monsters that spawn spawn in jungles they usually run away from the players but can once gain their trust by feeding them raw cards or raw salmon, so they stop running away. Creepers and phantoms are scared of ocelots and will avoid them. Raw cod or raw salmon can be used to breed ocelots that trust the player. 10 health against rabbits and baby turtles. Next up is my pandas. Wow, that was the reason. They're from the bamboo jungle. Pandas are passive moths only found in bamboo forests. Jungles, I meant. They have one of seven possible different personalities. Normal pandas and brown pandas have no special behavior, just vary in color. Lazy pandas move slow and lay to, to, like to lay on their back. While playful pandas roll over and jump around, worry pandas try to avoid the pl try to avoid players and other mobs. Weak pandas only have ten ten health, and aggressive pandas are neutral, so they will attack the player when they are hit. Bamboo can be used to lead pandas around and breed them. Health 20 at attacked by aggressive panda 6. Drops bamboo. Oh. The p next up is the parrots. Tame with those parrots. Parrots are flying passive moths that can be tamed with seeds. They spawn only in jungles and come in five different colors. Parrots imitate the sounds of other nearby mobs and tend to look in their direction. A tamed parrot can be told to sit with a right click. Crouching near a tamed parrot will make it perch on the player's shoulder. Shoulder, I meant. Sorry, I'm I'm really bad at this. Self six drops feather. Next up is. The mighty scary undead frickin' scary phantoms. Spooky frickin' phantoms. Sorry, sorry, I keep doing that. Darkness, light level of seven or less, or when the player hasn't has not slept for three days, for three or more days. Phantoms are undead flying hostile mobs that spawn to attack players who have not entered a bed. For at least three day, three in-game days. In addition to today, to that they are only spawn at night or during a thunderstorm. And when players, when the players is above sea level, they will th then circle above the player and groups up, up, up to six phantoms until they swoop down and attack. Frickin' player. Health 20. 
Easy for sex for normal. Hard nine. They drops Phantom Marines. Next up is the pigs. Spawn in surface blocks. Pigs are passive mobs that can be controlled by attaching a saddle and using a caradon stick. They also drop raw, raw pork chop, which makes them a renewable source of food. Carrots can be used to lead pigs, pigs around and breed them. Health 10 health points. And then drops raw pork chop and then cooked pork chop when they're killed by fire. If settled by fire, settle. Next up is the pillager. Pillagers are also mobs equipped with a crossbow. They they appear near pillager outposts, but are also the most common mob in the Elder Hill patrols and raid that attack villagers. They shoot all nearby players, villagers, and our golems. Outpost captains, patrol captains, and raid captains can be identified by the big banner they wearing on their heads. Health 24 times 12. Easy up to 4. Normal up to 4. Hard up to 5. Drops when killed arrow. Rare drops when killed emerald. When killed enchantment book. And then equipment sometimes crossbow. Next up, the polar bear. <laughs> Sorry, I keep doing that. They spawn in cold biomes or etc. ice plants. Play polar bears are natural that mobs that are only found in cold biomes like the cold plain. Although polar bears are usually followed by their cups. Once you get too close or attack them, or their cups, they become hostile and all play all polar bears in the area will attack the player. Polar bears can swim faster than the players possibly make it difficult to get away from them. Health 30 times 15. Easy 4. Normal 6. Hard 9. And then when killed, roll, roll cod and then raw salmon. Next up, we're moving on to the poisonous, poisonous boys, which is the pufferfish. Pufferfish are small passive mobs that can be found in oceans. They, they, they are the only fish that do not tend to swim in schools. When, when approached by dolphins, drowns, or player, pufferfish will puff up if they are touched in the in their fully puffed state. They afflict the player with poison. Deal damage like all fish they cannot survive on land and will die after flopping around for some time. That's good! Actually, okay, never mind, sorry. Health 3. Easy 2. Attacks. Normal 3. Hard 4. Poison 1. Hard every 1.5. 25 seconds for 7 seconds. Drops when killed, pufferfish. Rare drops, bone meal. Next up, we have this the rabbit. Yep, rabbit. There's one of snowy tigers, tigers, giant tree tigers, snowy ch chandras, snowy tiger mountains, ice spikes, deserts, or fire forests. Rabbits are small passive mobs. That are primary source of rabbit hides and rabbit foot. They also drop raw rabbit. Will make them a re. Wait, okay. Um, I just messed up there. It's okay, we're back. Okay. Okay, makes them a renewable item. For renewable source of food, carrots can be used to lead rabbits around or breed them. There is a one in 100 percent chance that a killer bunny will spawn instead of a rabbit that is is aggressive and will attack the player. Three 
health points. Kill rabbit only. Five normal. Eight easy. Uh, hard twelve. Drops. Roll rabbit. When killed by fire. Roll. I mean cooked rabbit. When killed. Rabbit hide. When killed. Roll drops. Rare drops. Rabbit's foot. Next up is the Ravager! My paper! Okay, okay, I'll stop. Okay, jeez. Okay. Ravagers are large, heavy, hostile mobs that only spawn as part of a raid. Wow. Often have a pillager riding them. They attack by ramming enemies with their heads, causing high damage and knockback. They will also destroy. Some blocks like leaves by walking through them, blocking that attack can stun them from a, a few seconds, but can also cause them to roar, de dealing damage to, to nearby enemies. 100 health times 50, easy 7, normal 12, hard 8, roar up to 6, always saddle. Next up is the salmon. Okay, salmon are small passive mobs that can be found in oceans and rivers. They tend to swim in schools of, of up to six fishes. Salmons are able to swim up to waterfalls. Like all fish, they cannot survive on land and will die after flopping around for some time. Free hearts. Drops when killed, raw salmon. When killed, cut salmon. By fire. Roll drops when killed. Bone meal. Next up is my sheeps. Surface block. Sheeps are passive mobs that are are the only source of wool. They also drop raw mutton, which makes them a renewable source of food. Which weed can be used to lead sheeps around and Break them. They will eat grass to regrow their their wool. Dye can be used to color their wool. I almost watched the wrong thing. Next up is the Shulker. Shulker! They spawn in end cities. Shulkers are hostile mobs only found in the end cities on the outer islands of the end. They can, they can, uh, when, when they're on peaceful mode, they they don't attack you anymore on peaceful mode. They they hide in their shells that look similar to a purple block to blend in to it to its surrounding. When a player is near it, will shoot projectiles that follow that follow the player. Health thirty times fifteen. Attack four. Drops shulker shells. Next up is. Silverfish. Okay, stronghold or when infested, some stone bricks are are mined. Silverfish are small hostile mobs that appear when infested stone stone bricks are mined. When are when attacked, they they may evoke evoke an other silverfish hidden in the other infested stone bricks. Nearby, if they are left alone, they they can enter nearby, which, which turns them into infested stone bricks. Health 8. Attack 1. Next up is my skeletons. Skeletons are common hostile mobs that shoot arrows at the player. Like zombies, they will burn in sunlight and can sometimes wear armor. Skeletons are the common source of arrows and bones. Health 20. Bow, easy 1, normal 1, hard 1. Sword, easy 2, normal 2, hard 3. Drops, arrows, bones, when killed by George Reaper, skeleton head. As always, bow, random armor sometimes. And then next up is the slime. Under underground below layers 39 in spectacle chunks or in 
swamps between layer 51 and 69 in darkness, like level or or less. Yeah. Slimes are hostile mobs found in random chunks or in swamps. They are different three different sizes of slimes that will can kill when will release smaller versions of themselves. Only the tiny versions will will drop slime balls when killed. Big six big sixteen small four tiny one. Attack big four small two T tiny zero <laughs> when tiny is killed sm slime balls next up is the snow golem snow golems are weak at utility that leave a trail of snow on the ground they they throw snowballs at a house almost but I expect expect for the blazes and the ender dragon they don't do anything. They don't do any damage. Snow golems are are built by players by placing a snow a pumpkin on the top of two snow blocks. Help four against places three against against ender dragons one against others seer and then drops. Snowballs. Mm. And here we go. Spider. Spiders are common mobs that are, are neutral in daylight, light level over 7, and hostile in darkness, light level of 7 or less. They, they have the unique ability to climb vertical block stacks. Spiders are a common source of string and spider eyes. Health 16. Attack easy 2, normal 2, hard 3. And then when killed, when ch it's string, when killed by player, spider eye. Next up is the spider jockey. Darkness, wide level of 7 or less, randomly spawns the inside instead of a spider. What the heck? Okay, spider jockeys are rare, host hostile mobs that have a, a one percent chance of spawning instead of a regular spider. In the Nether, most of the time, a river skeleton will ride the spider instead of a regular skeleton. They have same they have same characteristics as their individual counterparts. Health skeleton twenty, spider sixteen, attack skeleton one one one. Spider easy two normal two hard three and then drops um arrows strings bones when killed by player spider equipment spider eye equipment bars and random armor next up is the squid oh my god it's so cute squids are expensive mobs that can that spawn and live in the water. They are the only source of ink sacks. When they are attacked, they produce a cloud of black ink and run and swim away. Health ten when killed ink sacks. Yeah. Next up is the strays. Cold biomes, snowy tundras, darkness, white level seven or less. Skeletons are I mean strays are a variants of skeletons that only spawn in cold biomes like the stone chandra. They are very similar to scout to regular skeletons, but they they shoot tipped arrows of slowness. They th that slow the player th for for thirty seconds when hit. They also have a fifty percent chance to drop one of their of of those arrows when they killed. 20 health points, bow, easy 1, normal 1, hard 1, sword, easy 2, normal 2, hard 3, drops, arrow of slowness when killed. Next up, we, we almost there guys. Next up is the tropical fish. Wait, they want to look warm, warm and deep look warm. 
Tropical fish are small passive mobs that can be found in oceans. They tend to swim in schools of up to nine fish. They there are two different shapes, fit fifteen towers, six patterns, and fifteen covers for the pattern of for tropical fish, resulting in two thousand seven hundred different varieties. Ninety percent of all tropical fish will come in one of of only especially two twenty two var varieties. Though, like all fish, they can cannot survive on land and will die after flopping around for some time. Health free drops tropical fish and then rare drops the bone meal. Next up is turtles. They spawn in beach. Turtles are passive mouth that can be found both on beach and in water. They move slowly on land but they quite they swim quite fast. Turtles will always remember to 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 the beach to to the beach. They hatch on, and which will go back there to lay the, their turtle eggs. Sea grasses can be used to breed turtles. When baby turtles grow up, they they drop a scoot. Health thirty times fifteen drops when killed by lightning. A bull. When killed, seagrass. Next up is my Vex. Summoned by Volker. Vexes are small, flying, hostile mobs that can be, but they, that can be summoned by evokers. They can be hard to hit because besides flying, there, there can, they can also pass through walls after a certain amount of time. They will start to take damage. And die on their own. Health 14, easy 5, normal 9, hard 13. Equipment Iron Sword. Next up is, uh, is our favorite NPCs, the villagers. Villagers are, are passive mobs, passive NPCs, and can be only found in villages. They walk around, socialize with each other, and hide in their houses during the night, rain, or raids. They, they are appearance d depends on both the biome they live and the, and their passion. Each villager uh, unemployed and unless they are a nitwit, they will try to find a job site, block to claim it, and acquire a profession. The available professions and their com corresponding job sets are armorer. Blast furnace, the 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 butcher, the cutter, the 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 cleric, the farmer, the fisherman, the fletcher, um, the letter worker, the the librarian, the mason, shepherd, toolsmith, and the weaponsmith. The f depending on their passion, the villagers have different trades. Available that allows players allows the players to trade with them using emeralds as currency. If a villager is killed by a zombie, it will sometimes turn into a a zombie villager. Health twenty. Next up is the Vindicator. It's location: Woodland Mansions. Vindicators are hostile mobs found in Woodland Mansions or in Illager patrols. They may seem tamed at, at first, but they will attack all all villagers and players they see with their, with with an iron axe. Health twenty four times twelve, easy seven, normal fourteen, hard nineteen. And okay, drops when killed by player emeralds. Equipment always axe, iron axe. Next up is the wandering trader. <laughs> Randomly in in a forty eight ra block radius of the player, the runner here is the runner trader is a passive NPC that can be only found randomly across the world. Every twenty minutes, he has an increasing chance to spawn in a forty eight radius around the player, accompanied by his two leashed trader llamas. 
The Wonder Trader always has t six random traits that only change when he 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 spawns again. Health twenty drops when he killed lead. When killed by wild dragon, where it's milk milk bucket. Next up, the witch. The okay swamp swamp huts or darkness right level of seven or less. Witches are hostile mobs that use splash potions as their weapons, as their weapon, and record potions to defend their se to def Oh come on, stupid eyes! To defend themselves when they when killed they when when killed they can be dropped m many different items that are potent to brew potions. Health twenty six times thirteen. Attack throw splash potions drops when killed ground powder and when killed ro redstone gold stone dust sugar glass bottle and last one the spider eye. Next up is the wither, the second boss in the Minecraft world. The wither is a is a strong boss. Mob that has to be built by the player. The free head shoots wither wither skulls at the player, and all non undead mobs that explode on impact and inflict the wither effect, which does damage over time. When when region have health, it will it will get immune to to arrows that the the wither can be built. By placing soul sand and in a T shape, and placing the three wither skeleton skulls on top, they are the only source of nether stars. Health three hundred times one hundred fifty. Easy five, normal eight, hard twelve, with red effect one every two seconds. When killed, the nether star. We're, we're moving on to our last ones, folks. With the Wither Skeleton. The Wither Skeleton are hostile mobs found in nether fortresses. They are n the nether equivalent of skeletons, but are significantly stronger due to their speed and damage. Ability to inflict players with an effect that hurts over time. Tw 20, 20 health. Attack easy. 4. Normal seven, hard ten, wither effect one every two seconds, drops coal, when killed, bones, when killed by charge reaper, wither skeleton head, when killed, rare drops, wither skeleton head, Equ equipment always, the stone sword. Next up is a wolf. Wow. Wolves are wild mobs that can either be aggress aggressed, aggressive, or tamed. When attacked by play by the player, they become hostile, and the, the whole pack will attack any player in the range when tamed with bones. They turn into dogs, follow the player, and will fight for him. Any kind of meat can be used. To breed tamed wolves. Zombies are the next ones. Zombies are common hostile mobs that follow players and inflict damage by simply making contact. Like skeletons, they will burn in day. Sunlight. And can sometimes wear armor, they have an, a 50% chance to spawn as a zombie villager. Zombies are the only source of rotten flesh. 20 health, easy 2, normal 3, hard 4. Drops, rotten flesh, when killed by charge reaper, zombie head. Rare drops, when killed, iron ingots, when killed, carrots, and then potatoes. Equipment, um, shovels, swords, and random armor. Last mob. Zombie pigmen. The zombie pigmen are neutral that 
mobs that are manually found in the nether. When they are attacked, they become hostile and all the pigments in the area will attack the player. The, the they can spawn in the nether, near a nether portal, or when a pig is struck by white knight. Health, 20. Easy, easy attack, 5. Normal, 9. Hard, 13. Drops is... Rotten Flesh, a gold nugget, rare drops, gold ingots, equipment always, gold swords. Well, I'll, that'll be it, my friends, for the Clever Book um, Tower. Um, we've been doing this for 55 minutes. We goodbye, everybody. Um, make sure you love this video. <laughs>